Okay, welcome to the log flash demo. And in this demo, I'm going to go through various changes, uh, normal browse update form changes, edit in place processes, etc. And then show how they uh, show how they appear in the log file. So if we go into Johnson Brothers and just make a few changes here. Um, just take out that correction there. Country, and we'll change the product name to Mark IV. When we go to the browse screen, we can see the various changes here. Country, either there's the new value I took out of the S's. I changed the blank country field and put the four on. And this particular browse here, the log files, are of course only going to be available to system admins within your uh, your control system so uh, because there's various things they can do roll back and delete okay let's just say that was a mistake there and it really is spelt like that so i can say okay roll back and i can roll back to a certain date so for example if somebody says oh a particular user has done a lot of changes in the last week i can go and roll back all his changes back to a certain date say seven days ago and select the user here I'm just going to select this particular one here that's highlighted I'm going to roll back I'm going to put the S's back in other words there so I've done that close I'll just refresh that browse and you can see now the city has got the S's back in there and um, it's also got the four there. Just refresh that browse there. So another change that you could do, you might want to do is edit in place. So I could click that and I can say, no, it shouldn't be that. It should be just hammers on its own. Quick changes. And then on here we can see the old value was EED and hammers is now the new value. And the other ways you could do it is in a process. I would, I would actually do it, but you could just put it in the template for the process. You put in the changes you, you feel you want to change and it'll go through and do that. Well, do, let's delete this one here and he's got two child records, two sales. And we're going to click delete. Boom, it's all gone. Then we go here and we can see that record deleted. We can see the primary field or the name of it was Samuel Perkins Real Estate. Various other bits of data. We can, There are user defined fields. So if there's extra information that the user says they want in the log file, you can customize that in the template. So I'm going to say, OK, this is uh, a mistake. I want to undelete that. It says there it was undeleted, put back. So we go up here and there it is back again, including the two uh, child records. And don't forget, it's not just the undelete or the rollback that, that's useful for this. You've also got the general audit of all changes that are made, every record, various ways of searching and filtering them. This log file is just a TPS file, but you can change it to anything you want, SQL, whatever, in the dictionary because um, all source code is supplied, so you can change this. You can put more stuff in the browse if you want and, and so on. All my templates are covered by the 60-day guarantee period, so you've got a chance to try it out without any risk and then um, get back to me if it's not what you want or it doesn't do what, what exactly you need or of course get back to me with suggestions to improve the any of the products but um, you know there's no quibble if, if it's not what you want immediately you get refunded and here's my contact details on the screen